Yeah. And, and you think Guy Fieri is the good one, but there are some secrets in Flavortown. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. The secrets of Flavortown. <laughs> this is an after school program podcast. What key are we in? G? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm the only person who needs to clap, Chase. I don't. <laughs> you, that's, the, that's the second time you've done that to me. <laughs> uh, I only needed to clap once, but I like to triple up just in case. Um, for me, for the editor. Yeah. Not for me. I'm not, I'm not the editor. <laughs> Am uh, I allowed to wear sunglasses on a podcast? Uh, yeah, PD. We, you, you, we need you to see your eyes. I mean, we'd okay. like to see your Those eyes. Those cold, dead eyes. Those dead eyes, long, long hair. <laughs> Hair's getting longer. I could bring yeah. that bit back. <laughs> um, hey, guys, this is a very special episode. Um, the two factions of after school program. Of <laughs> <laughs> the warring factions. The warring factions. <laughs> the, the, creative, uh, the creative half of after school program, uh, Robert and Chase. Uh, are they we have a not podcast. creative? Um, not, not at. I mean, so what are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> if we're doing the creative, what are you guys doing? We're phoning it in. We're <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day. Uh, no, I would say I'll actually put more work in. <laughs> Y'all put way more work in than PD and I. I mean, Ch- we're Story, coasting. We Church hit the cruise button a long time ago. Church Stories doesn't have a Robert. I think that's the big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys do a podcast called Written By. Yes. It's the number yes. one podcast in the world. In the world. Right behind all the other ones. Right behind all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so, and as you know, we do a podcast called Church Stories Podcast. It's the number two podcast the in the world. Number two podcast in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference to the televangelist sketch directed. Oh, uh, wow. yeah, directed I was wondering why that sounded familiar. In the world! <laughs> um, yeah, and so and so we wanted to do a swap cast with you guys. Uh, first off, I love the format of you guys' show. I helped uh, uh, produce the, the promo yeah. for season two, and mm-hmm. that junk uh, looks so good. <laughs> Robert's got an <laughs> idea brag. for the season three one already. So oh, let's go. Dude. Really? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Y'all are also uh, sitting on like what? 20 episodes in the bank. Yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. Free yeah. Yeah. Hey, Let's your see. episode's dropping either this week or next. I recorded it like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're set through like September now or October. Damn, really? I yeah, cannot about that. say. Oh, actually, yeah, both, both of you have been on season two already, recorded season two episodes, yeah. but they won't be out for another like two or three months. This is why I was saying, this is why I was saying they're very creative. <laughs> yeah. You and I record the podcast that's due the day of on the day. <laughs> hey, but Chase is part of that. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. So it's a, all, I guess Robert is the workhorse. It is, so. He is. <laughs> he is definitely the workhorse. Um, all right. Well, uh, welcome back. I mean, well, maybe let's introduce ourselves. Let's we'll start off yeah. with some introductions. Oh, Chase, could I get on the roadcaster? Yes. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My name is Shama, and uh, my son just turned three. I am a 30-year-old with a three-year-old. Uh, I don't know if that means anything to anybody else, but that's where I'm at in life. Uh, yeah, so that means you important. were my age when you had your kid, which is weird for me to think about. It's like yeah, I yeah. couldn't have a kid right now, <laughs> dude. Sure, you could. I talked to some people who uh, who got married at like nineteen, and I'm like, dude, what are you? Do you? If you would have met nineteen year old me, you wouldn't. Uh, you would have put him in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I was like dangerous, but just for my own safety. I would have agreed to be like, hey, we're going to lock you in a room until you're 25. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, no, that sounds right. That sounds it. I, I tweeted this the other day. I don't think I was a real person until about three years ago. <laughs> Is that I your introduction? That, yeah, that's my introduction. I'm Chase. I don't think I was a real person. I'm like Pinocchio. Oh, uh, man. You were just a wooden, just, just a, a wooden, wooden shell James of a man. Chase walking around, and then all of a sudden, and then Tom Geppetto. Hanks showed up <laughs> in his witch voice. Yeah, is Tom Hanks Geppetto and in the this? new Pinocchio? Yeah, 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 he is. Yeah, no, that's real life and in my fantasy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So he's uh, Elvis, manager wizard, and Pinocchio. Talk about range <laughs> <laughs> and Geppetto. <laughs> it's like when a witch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback to a Church Stories po- a Church Stories podcast bit that everybody <laughs> not hates gonna let it die. Uh, I love it. Uh, I know, just didn't understand it guys, when you first said the, it. The 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 mileage on the bit really <laughs> confirms that I was onto something. I agree, PD. It's it's the new Alex Trebek. <laughs> you know how Alex Trebek died? It was a witch. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know this. A, black a lot of mist. <laughs> mist. <laughs> he used to elongate all the vowels. <laughs> 
Uh, do we want to continue the introductions here? Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is PD, and I'm a gentleman. Oh, jeez, man. I knew we were going to get And I'm with it. my fellow gentleman, hey. Robert. <laughs> money. I am money. The song's I not money. good. <laughs> yes, I want to say is. that. <laughs> is this the is this the yeah, new song? This is. <laughs> this is Rich Minion. I made a song with the millions. How much you pay me a million? <laughs> okay, never mind. That is pretty. That's pretty big gangster. I call my children my minions. We took it over the world. We made a whole lot of I've never heard this song. I haven't either. I tried listening to it. it I couldn't understand it. I don't know what he's saying. So Man. I'm Robert, and my life over the past week has been consumed by one song, which is Rich Minions by Yeet. Go look at Robert's Twitter. He's not lying. He's it's dead. it's fascinating. Um, Can we get rid of the song? <laughs> Fine. <Jeez. laughs> Uh, man, I I would tell you, man, whoever is on the marketing <laughs> for the minions, mm -hmm. I, I I mean, this Robert, is be Robert's on the marketing for the minions, <laughs> a case study <laughs> for decades. <laughs> uh, people are for very decades. confused because Morbius tried to capitalize on their being a meme all over Twitter, like, yep. and they just failed twice. Yeah, yep. we now, hate you. Yeah. You're a meme. We're we're laughing at you. <laughs> but now minions have thirty year old men showing up in suits. To the theater in in drones and thirteen year olds and in thirteen suits. Year olds. That's 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 like old Hollywood, right? Yeah. Where people would be like, "I'm taking my girl down to the theater. Say, hey, we're gonna <laughs> watch <laughs> one of the moving pictures." Hashtag gentle minions, get on it. Oh, um, man. Man. I don't like that. I, uh, gentle minions, I feel like is in the uh, is in like the same column as like weebs. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I I, well, I, I think agree. it's very sophisticated. You have gentlemen <laughs> and minions. <laughs> Who coined that term? Who coined that term? Do we know? Do we know? Someone know. on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it can't. It, it, somebody on the marketing team for for minions could <laughs> never. That is a witty fifteen year old on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, what, what's your? Did you do your intro, Robert? He did his intro over oh, the yeah. track. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, track. Yeah. I feel the need to apologize. I got hit really hard in the head the other day, so I've been a little out of it. Wrestling. Still? Yeah, I'm. I was there. <laughs> yeah, Ro uh, P Robert was there. <laughs> I've been very out of it. Uh, hit in the head really hard. <laughs> I've been stuttering a lot today, so uh, if I die, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I just hit the mic on my teeth. That hurt. I <laughs> Injury after injury over here. I, I went with Chase, and when he started warming up, like after I was like, oh, this is really cool. But then he comes back, and I see he's like looking around, and he just you, you just looked out of it like yeah. you were in a different place. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh, no, this is my ride. <laughs> <laughs> Not concerned about your safety. No, no, of course. like, I hope I can get home safely. Rightfully so. The, the ride home was a rough one. Well, but then I was like, I, if, if he... North Carolina or were y'all? North Carolina, yeah. Come on, Chase. Chase, you got to stop wrestling. I, at the ride home, I was like, I think I'm done for a while. Sheesh. Well, for a I, while? You never know. Wow, I got to see Chase Bridges last match. That's awesome. Uh, one day I'll be able to. It wouldn't have been bad if I wasn't like I need to impress everyone. Yeah. And yeah. then I was just flipping off of everything. And hey, that's also a really great time, um, guys. If you hit the link in the description, Chase Bridges last match is available as an <laughs> NFT. Uh, so uh, Chase is just finding out about this as I am. Uh, we it's a Chase Bridges board ape uh, collab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I, I watch a lot of wrestling, so I know when it's good. I know when it's horrible. Chase is a really good wrestler. Yeah, thank you. Um, and watching his match, it was awesome, but I was really concerned the whole time. Like, am I going to have to drive him to the hospital? Because <laughs> he did a backflip, and then he dove through a swing set, you know, grabbed a guy with his legs, and then backflipped off yeah. of his shoulders. And Yeah, man, I went all out, and I didn't need to because the only person <laughs> watching – was PD. Yeah. That was the only... But hey, I was into also, it. Also, guys, once again in the description, I went all out, but I bit, didn't mean to. It's available on ebook and yeah. hardback copy right now. That's a good title. That is a good title. I went all out, but I didn't need to. The Chase Bridges story. So uh, the way that written by works typically is uh, we pick a random suggestion out of a bowl and we write a short film 
during the podcast. And so we thought it would be really fun if since the four of us have all worked on the pastor puppet character. <laughs> yeah. If we wrote Gentle Minions, the movie. Yeah. That's, I get money. that's what we're doing. <laughs> Can we get Yeet on the uh, on the soundtrack for the pastor puppet? Of course. Oh, yeah. Yes. I actually I mean he cost he costs a million dollars. Or now? two million. <laughs> it, uh, we don't know. According to <laughs> the whole song is about how much he got paid <laughs> to make the song, which I think is the ingenious part. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty baller. <laughs> hey, before we get into this, I just want to say, July 4th, me and Lauren went and saw the Minions. Rise of Gru. Man. Was it good? It was the best movie Why did you, I've ever oh, seen. Shut up. Best movie I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Was it good, though? For, have you even seen the movie, Robert? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Lord. All that promoting don't mean nothing. Look, I'm not in it for the you, movie. I'm in it for the white song boy. by Eat. I'm in it for the Minion Cinematic Universe, which includes the song. Dude, I do love the first Despicable Me movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. Is yeah. Steve Carell Steve in the new Carell. one? Yeah, I think so, right? Well, it's like Little Min- it little Gru, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I love yeah. all the memes the where rise. it's like... Uh, <laughs> you corrected me, right? <laughs> Well, I'm are yeah, you, are little you a, are Gru you a because he's rising up into um, adult Gru. So it's this, a coming of age story. I saw this tweet the other day. <laughs> it was something about, uh, you know, uh, man, uh, I can't remember. But it's just a play on words of like, you know, life is despicable since we grew apart or whatever. Yeah, 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 and you're yeah, like, yeah. come on. <laughs> life got despicable, but my money grew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, oh, that's oh, too man. good, man. That's too good, dude. Oh, man. This is this is a prime. I think we're in an era. I don't know when this episode's gonna air for you guys, but uh, we're in an era where when uh, it airs for uh, Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're in an era where bad marketing is really bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's absolutely horrible. And good marketing, you're just sort of like, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it's still flying. I can't believe. Yeah, this is like watching this all this transpire. I'm like, what a what a time. What a time to be on the internet. Do you think that they were hoping they were getting like a Tyler the Creator with the Grinch thing when they <laughs> hired him? They were like, he'll make a really cool song. And instead he was just like, I got paid a million dollars. Well, they... They they didn't just hire Yeet. They have a whole soundtrack, and the roster on that soundtrack <laughs> is crazy. Yeah. You that sounds like Twenty One Savage, <laughs> Dua, like Dua Lipa, Phoebe Bridgers, really? Thundercat, wow. Tame Impala, Diana, Tame Impala. Yeah, what? Jeez, yeah, that's why. Do you think that Jack cool. Antonoff produced the whole thing? Did they get Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow, I feel like, is the oh, bet, yeah. like the the cream of the crop. For movie marketing I, I, soundtracks, but Fantano gave it a not good. The whole soundtrack. Yeah, it was the whole good. soundtrack. Why does Fantano have a <laughs> have a tight grip on music? <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> okay, okay. Like the wrestling one is called Dave Meltzer. That's, That's true. He's the. Did, did, uh, switching gears. Sorry, what were you gonna? Say? I was gonna say Fantano is like the same thing that Dave Meltzer is to wrestling. There's always one white guy can with we, his opinions. Can we be that in the Christian space? <laughs> Maybe we should offshoot. Uh, we, we should create SoundCloud another. Christians. I think we are that, right? I'm talking to everything, man. Oh, I'm talking oh, to yeah, everybody. Everybody. Well, the thing is, you're trying to have a career, <laughs> yeah. and eventually, you're gonna like oh. rag on everyone. We have run into this <laughs> problem. <laughs> I saw this tweet yesterday. It was like, it was like, uh, it's crazy that when you get famous, you have to be nice to James Corden. <laughs> I saw that. That was really funny. And I thought, man, that's what PD and I, were. The, the bigger we get, the nicer we have to be to all these people that we've met <laughs> or inevitably will meet. <laughs> or that we have insulted in the past. And then now we're like, oh, I've had a big fan of your work. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> I'm a lie. <laughs> See, this is this is why I'm, uh, I'm writing horror films because uh, I think when we had you on Written By, which will come out in like a month, we talked about how <laughs> there's a very established evangelical Christian to Rick and Morty writer's room pipeline. Yeah. <laughs> there is an equally yeah. established grew up Christian. Grew. Now I'm making uh, horror movies. The yeah. rise of grew up Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that that's, that's how I plan on maintaining my integrity. You're just <laughs> finding, you're just like, I'm going to hop on the interstate yeah. early. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Chase, okay, you yes. were laying out the groundwork for Yes, so I, I think we want to do a short film about Pastor Puppet. And the way that Written By typically works is... Um, 
<laughs> we- Whoa! <laughs> Chase has to stop wrestling. <laughs> typically, okay, typically yeah, we choose our are, topics man. at random based on listener yeah. suggestions, stuff we put in the bowl. But we decided, hey, we got the whole after school program creative team right here. Yeah. We we started written by because we would write short films over the phone together and we were like, Hey, we could record this. We have had a lot of Zoom calls and phone conversations where we write sketches. So we're basically looking to do the same thing. Yeah. Just go into it like, okay, if we were gonna revive Pastor Puppet. Yeah. Um Man, man. Uh, first and foremost, Pastor Puppet is such a crazy intellectual property yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to have conjured up. I Let's got a uh, puppet on eBay. <laughs> I've always wanted to do uh, the rise and fall of Pastor Puppet, like off like the Mars Hill podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or exposing Pastor Puppet in like a true crime documentary. Yeah. yeah. You wrote something. I did. I don't think it was very good. I think we could do better today. Yeah. yeah. Do we do we need to catch people up on who Pastor Puppet is? Okay. I know he's kind of a fan favorite. Ooh, I think he has it. the most popular episodes of this podcast. Yeah, so church stories, they know. <laughs> um, no, so Pastor Puppet is uh, Petey and I... Uh, oh, it's a swap cast. This? Sorry, Ooh, sorry. Yeah. I forgot. So we had this idea. We wanted to write a really mean pastor. Um, but then we were like, who would I play? And I was like, no, I don't want to play him. And then Petey was like, uh, I don't want to play me. Like, we can't cast anybody to play a mean pastor. And then um, I think we had stopped talking about it for a bit. And then randomly I was watching maybe like uh, uh, like a Sesame Street documentary or something. <laughs> and they were just talking about like the, the, the things that you can do with a puppet, you know, and you could kind of, pl- you know, you could toss a puppet. You could do all these different things. And I, and I called Pete and I was like, puppet. you could abuse. <laughs> I mean, like a puppet could fly on a bike. You know what I mean? Like they just, they just, they're, they're. It's like the first cartoon where like a cartoon could get like ran over by a car, like you know all that stuff. <laughs> just shaking, and, you know, off, just yeah. like a bunch of you know get hit by a whatever. And so I told PD, I called PD, I was like, uh, pa- uh, it needs to be a puppet, which is like you know dual meaning because a lot of pastors are puppets anyways. So I thought this is it. This is our vehicle to kind of get into. Uh, write all the mean things that we wanted to do which we kind of came back around and did that with uh the series that we wrote uh called uh loose cannon guest speaker yeah. so maybe we were just trying to find vehicles to get away with uh, the things that we probably <laughs> couldn't have gotten away with the things that we believe but don't want us to say you were like oh yeah. we wouldn't i would never <laughs> i would never uh yeah so that was that was the the genesis of pastor pup that's and interesting that's right the relevant revelation the a big fan favorite there's the sketch which is linked in the description of both podcasts i'm signing you up for work oh, boy. Uh, and then uh pastor puppet was a guest on church stories and that was yeah. the most popular still podcast and then he showed up on the live church stories podcast yeah. and again huge fan favorite everywhere he goes he makes money <laughs> Man, and that's why we're going to try to capitalize on this multi-million dollar short film starring Absolutely. Pastor Puppet. Now we don't have the multi millions, uh, Pastor Puppet, and now subsequently Yeet, who uh, <laughs> he has that. Uh, <laughs> subsequently, <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. So yeah, more than anything, uh, let's write something that we yeah. can actually do. Let's actually do. do. Yeah. And, and yeah. so, and with written by, just to sell us even more, <laughs> uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is like, with written by, we have all of these short films that we write every week, and then we can use that as a vehicle to actually create things. The short yeah. film that we just shot, uh, which you'll be seeing a sneak peek of relatively soon. Yep. Uh, we wrote on the second episode of Written By. So you get to actually listen to us come up with the idea, write the short film, and then you can see the end product when it comes out. And I think that's a pretty genius on our part. Yeah, I know. I was on that shoot. <laughs> Are y'all saying the title yet? Yeah, it's called Trouble, Trouble Date. Date. Okay, yeah. Trouble, I was on the Trouble Date shoot, and uh, I mean, it's going to be really, really awesome. It's going to look really, really special. Y'all knocked it out of the park. And more than anything, it was really cool to see... Um, I like seeing ideas uh, take life because I feel like we mm. doesn't matter how much you write. It's just for PD and I it just sits on an Apple note <laughs> and like sometimes yeah. I'll just go through them. I'm like, what is I'm looking at 
what's going to potentially cost thousands and thousands of dollars to do. <laughs> but then when we make one, I'm like, I am so excited to delete it out of that note just because I'm like, I could stop looking at you in text form because the real thing is available. And that so I'm really, really cool. excited about yeah. about that that one uh, that one coming to life. I think more than anything, everybody kind of you know heard the heard the episode and watched you guys put it together. Yeah, super cool. All right. All right. Is this um, written stories or, or church by? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> written stories is kind of a cool. I like church by. Church by podcast. Church by podcast. <laughs> church by podcast. Uh, man. I mean, written by church stories already. Oh, oh snap. Yeah. I, PD, what, you, how did you Frankenstein <laughs> a title? <laughs> when the title. <laughs> Written by church. I don't know. I just I got caught on church by. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a drive by, but from a church. It's when they throw Bibles at you. Yeah, oh. church by. <laughs> good, good. Uh, and then it's like uh, uh, in this scenario, the moment a Bible hits you, you go from like looking from like a wife beater and sacky jeans to like a choir rope. <laughs> 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 so what if we, uh, since this is something that we could potentially make in the future, what if we told the origin story of Pastor Puppet? Okay, so how far back would we want to go? Because then. Uh, uh, the origin story of a lot of mega churches is just like a church in an apartment, yeah. and then they they he preaches against these giant mega churches, and then he becomes yeah. the giant mega yeah. church. That is like a big yeah. That is like a big that's uh, Driscoll foundation. Yeah. yeah, all these people who were like, if you can't shake your pastor's hand on a Sunday, you don't go to you don't have a pastor. And then all of a sudden he becomes yeah. a pastor. Who's like yeah. he's like flying Seven in on churches. a helicopter. And, yeah, I could see. I could see that happening, but if we, I think it's interesting when these rich pastors tell their own origin stories and it's like fluffed up. Oh, they, it's the founders. Un, I've un, heard about this. Unreliable narrator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They call like every, <laughs> like even, even like Steve Jobs, they, he talks about like, we started off in a garage. Well, they actually just stored uh -huh. some stuff in the garage for a bit, <laughs> but they me. didn't, they didn't actually have a bunch of stuff in, in the, the garage. garage. Like, it's not like we were great. No, no, no. It's not how that worked, but they, the founders myth. I read an Ooh. article about that where they're like, all these founders have this yep. idea of like, we had to, it was just me and him sleeping on bunk beds. <laughs> when like, we started church stories in my mom's basement. Had, I mean, actually, the found, <laughs> no, no myth there. <laughs> no, we're actually broke. We, we, we're actually, <laughs> we didn't have daddy's money on the side. No, no. I'm going I'm to throw out two more ideas just because we've, yeah. We've, uh, I think PD came up with this idea. We've had this idea for like a year, so I've had time to think about this. But thinking of where where I would want to see a Pastor Puppet sketch go, I had two ideas. Either I would want to hear him preach. I wonder what a Pastor Puppet sermon sounds like. Yeah. Or on the flip side, I would love to see a Pastor Puppet apology video. Oh, if like man. he got caught in a scandal, <laughs> a pastor public <laughs> yes. scandal would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a it's a pretty well trodden comedic bit on YouTube to be like this is the parody of the YouTube apology video. Yeah, but yeah. pastor apology videos are kind of a genre in and of themselves that I don't think anyone has ragged on before. And the the facing the congregation video. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Man. I got to come clean. Ooh, hold on. What do we uh what if cuz it's it's not necessarily a comedy sketch, it's a short film. Unless we want to go the sketch route. I mean, I think well we can well, turn it into one. a sketch yeah. later. I, this is a fun idea, I think, where Pastor Puppet goes in front of the the church and he does his apology and he says, "You know what? I'm going to be taking a break. I'm not going to be preaching for a while." Um and then he goes, uh, God bless, goodbye. He leaves, and then Pastor Puppet with a mustache walks back on, <laughs> and he's like, hello. <laughs> That's really funny. Hello. <laughs> That's a big thing in wrestling, where uh, <laughs> someone will get fired, and they'll come back with a mustache or something, and they'll pretend like they're a whole new person. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> we, we play it as, like, you find out before that he – he owes a lot in unpaid taxes or something. <laughs> I was I was gonna suggest financial <laughs> trouble. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, I want to allude to something that we worked on one time, Robert. Uh -huh. It it was a like a boardroom uh, video. Yeah. That's a because uh, I feel like all the, a majority of the stories from these bad pastors all come from 
boardroom meetings because they're like, you know, on stage yeah. they're a great person. They'll shake people's hands. They'll do the book signings. And then in a boardroom, it's just bonkers. It's business. Yeah. It is just. They're, t- they're like yelling at the security guy because some homeless person patted them on the back. You know what I mean? Like it is just. <laughs> hey, I'm not your know. brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh you know what else? Is and they also, it? they're pitching. I mean, you, you, yep. like they're just pitching stuff. But then also, everybody that they're pitching to uh, uh, is on salary because of him. So it's yeah. hard to be honest to the person, you know, yeah. who's your boss. And then they when sprinkle they in trash. a little like, spiritual abuse. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, <laughs> just a little it's sprinkle. It's a very sprinkle it in. interesting uh, <laughs> meat, uh, meatball, uh, uh, meatloaf. I almost said meat it. factory. It's a meat <laughs> Guys, we're going to write how the sausage is made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But either one of those, either one of those contexts, um, I think it's good. What do y'all think? I like the idea of the board meeting. Yeah. Maybe we could do both, like cut back and forth between the board meeting and his apology. Because oh. we could do, oh. hold yeah. on. I, I think I have an idea that can marry both of them. Another cool dynamic. What if they are taping the apology video? Because you know this from doing a lot of talking head videos. Sometimes you will get a guy who off camera is the rudest person. Uh-huh. <laughs> they will be on set. They'll be yelling at an assistant or whatever. Yes. It's like, hey, give me that. Let's roll. Let's roll. What the we cameras come on. They're guys, you can like, say my name. Hey, guys, we're it's so me. excited for the fundraiser. <laughs> camera goes off. Oh, my God. J- J- what was that? that was wrong. What, what else am I doing? doing there? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we are so excited! Like they could just on a dime. What am I doing? Like, what am I doing next? Sociopathic level. What am I doing next? <laughs> okay, you're doing the fundraiser for the church. I'm like, all right, guys. <laughs> I mean, it would be over if y'all didn't freaking, if we would have patched the hole like I told you to. Hey, look. <laughs> you know, and they just kind of go back. So you could still have the boardroom dynamic of his people are in there coaching him through the video. Yeah. But you also see him like in real life versus the camera and mm, we can play mm. with that dynamic but that'd be really good that would be really cool so it, the, we're cutting cutting back and forth from him being abusive and then the joke can be like his apology he's apologizing for what he literally is just doing yeah, yeah. so is, he, is it an apology oh so it's an apology video so he's making an apology video <laughs> yeah. like in the studio but the board happens to be there yeah or yeah. is it like he's in the boardroom and they've got a camera on like one end and so I think he's in a studio for the apology in in, in, a, yeah. in a boardroom for the meeting. Okay. Or I mean, th- thinking about what we could shoot, I would just like set it in the studio location, whatever. So we could just, if we were to shoot this, we would set up the paper background on the C stands. Yeah. You would see that. Then you would just cut to an angle of the board people behind the camera. <laughs> and then we could tie Chase's idea into like to be the final punchline uh-huh. where he announces in the video that he can't yeah. preach anymore and then he steps yeah. on stage. With I will be taking what, what if it, what if it's in the uh what if it's in the in the studio still. So he's like he's like and for that reason I want to let you guys know that I'll be taking an extended sabbatical and will return when I have both healed mind, body, soul. And it's my honor to introduce to you the, my new guest pastor who'll be taking over. But the moment he he walks right and the next guy yep. comes in left immediately. Yep. Like I mean yeah. like yeah. just like tails. Yeah. And it's and it's just him and Just a on the backdrop. Uh-huh. Yeah, the yeah, backdrop. Yeah. Or it's just a really obvious like split screen that's done badly. <laughs> Where the color <laughs> your color grading is really obvious. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> like your internet icon video. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a deep cut. Yeah. But. Oh boy. Dude, I saw that before I met you, Shava. Ah. <laughs> ah. And I was watching that show rooting for Shama every week. I was really into it. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. do you get a piece of that if someone pays for it? No. no. It's free. I'm no, a I'm a pirate it and watch it. <laughs> you can't it's on YouTube. Oh, That's it's too free? much work. She's like, I'm gonna steal the free thing <laughs> just so I can feel better. Yeah. Be, uh, <laughs> go check if that's on Pirate Bay later though. That'd be really funny. I I, I don't know. I don't know what YouTube did. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, so I like this. I yeah. like this. Uh, so he's he's making an apology video in front of, and his and his board board uh, <laughs> his board is like is uh, like coaching him through it, like pitching, yeah, yeah pitching lines. Yeah, They're like mm, don't say that because then that makes it sound like you're apologizing for the church. Yeah. We just want you to apologize for you. Yeah. Why don't you come up here? <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of like. <laughs> you know, I actually. Now that I think about it, I didn't even think about it before. I actually did write a draft of 
an apology <laughs> video sketch. I never did anything with it. Did you send it to it me? It was a little too real. I think I might have. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. I, I know, I know what you're about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, what did Pastor Robin do? Yeah, I think yeah. that's what we got to figure out. We don't want it to be too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe if it's, <sighs> do we play on the Joel Osteen money in the bathroom? Like, but come up with a, did he apologize for that? I don't no. think he said anything about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, typically a scandal is like a cheating scandal, but I don't know if we want to play with that. Cause that's kind of, I, well, yeah, I didn't cheat on anybody, baby. I, mean, I just what? put $600,000 <laughs> in my bathroom and I don't think that's such a problem. <laughs> the IRS doesn't need to know. <laughs> they don't need to know. Only God needs to know about that money. <laughs> what if it's a, what if it's a, I don't know why you don't see these as often, maybe because everybody has a camera, but do you remember those, uh, uh, freaking reporter altercations that like Kanye yeah, would yeah, always get yeah. good morning Kanye it is like <laughs> none of that happens anymore maybe because you know I don't know it's all maybe he just had like a bad altercation with what if it was like somebody trying to take a selfie with him or something you know I don't know oh and he See, screams oh, at them yeah. he does do it <laughs> and there's like a TMZ video of it <laughs> TMZ is still out in these streets well, I think I don't think they're out here as much as they're like. Do you have footage of whatever? Send it to us, and we'll give uh, you. Yeah, that's exactly what $200. they do. Two hundred dollars. I thought I, they just had people everywhere. I've got footage of Shama and Whiteface. I can't wait. Oh to send boy, them. man, it's over for me. <laughs> I got footage of Shama and Whiteface. I'm never going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Shama's gonna be like, "Hey, we're gonna I'm have blackmail to blackmail the blackmail." The... <laughs> <laughs> wait, did you just come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Bars. That's, that's, BD's, that's BD's diss track <laughs> A black male to black male That's great White milk <laughs> Wait, Chocolate milk White bread Chocolate milk uh, Shama's gonna be like Hey Chase we're gonna um, We're gonna have to ask you to not be on church stories anymore And I'm gonna be like oh yeah And there's just a picture <laughs> Oh sheesh um, Okay along, along what you were saying though It's a I think I think it's consistent with what we know of the character so far, which yeah. is that he's temperamental, and he's temperamental when he thinks he's in a place where he's not being watched. So I think like maybe <laughs> he's caught out in public being rude to someone, yeah. and someone yeah. happened to catch a video, and we just we need to come up with something really extreme and like funny that he did. Yeah. Oh, man whereas like he was yelling at a waiter or something I, that's what i was thinking no. waiter because that's like what the... if he flips a waiter's tray out of his hand or something <laughs> oh and just just puts on a whole scene at a restaurant i think that well can i can <laughs> so uh this is in line the, the the guy who plays pastor puppet who we have not mentioned uh chris freeland yes. very hilarious friend yes. of the show uh Both comedian shows. writer he is yeah he is yeah. so talented it w pastor puppet wouldn't have been a success without mm -hmm. chris free no nah, not a, and every time i see him i try mm -hmm. to remind him hey you're the most downloaded episode of church yeah. <laughs> um he he was a waiter and he said um, one time he this is my i don't know why i always think about this all the time he was delivering condiments to a table and accidentally spilled ranch on a baby <laughs> <laughs> like and he felt so bad but the family were like oh it happens and just like try to clean off their baby uh, but you know i always think like just something to inconvenience like he's inconvenienced enough to what if it's like what if pastor puppet has a stack of money in the baby chair <laughs> and, and the waiter accidentally spills ranch on the money and pastor puppet just loses Not his mind baby. uh so, so maybe he's so he's mildly inconvenienced essentially i think you should trip the waiter too <laughs> i think i think it's it could even be it's like they didn't put lime in his water or yeah, something yeah. and he yeah. starts spraying ketchup <laughs> or like oh that. yeah and i think just just screaming i think just having like yeah. camera footage yeah in a restaurant of pastor public just screaming these terrible things kind of like in the original video where he's he uh what did he say in the in the body of christ you are the you, appendix yeah that's such we a need we yeah. need to come up with like one really good line so when he's saying the apology video it's very somber and serious and he's like i am sorry for saying <laughs> blah, 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 whatever uh uh um <laughs> what if it's a maybe it is some type of condiment and he ends up spreading it 
uh, you know, wherever, well, you know, whether it's like spraying ketchup somewhere. And, he, and the apology is like, uh, uh, my life is, uh, my, I've devoted my life to spreading truth. It's sp- <laughs> oh, <what> if- <laughs> spreading life. And uh, I did not spread that Mustard. in Ru- Ruby Tuesday that day. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of a great line for him to say to the waiter. Um, the good Samaritan would have left you on the side of the road. <laughs> Ooh, the, the, Ooh. It's a TGI Fridays, and he goes, "Thank God it's Fridays. Thank God you're fire." <laughs> Where is your manager? Uh, <laughs> it sucks that none of us can do the yeah, voice. <laughs> I I just tried. That was a, yeah, I can't do Pastor Puppet, and I can't do Jordan Peterson. It was not a good Friday at that TGI Fridays. <laughs> hey, that's but good. it is time for my resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. The TGI that Fridays. That's a good. Uh, that's a. G- <laughs> that's a great seg. Like great play on words. Like we could really. We could. We could roll with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we have a TGI Fridays near here? Yeah. All we would have Woodruff? to do is get <laughs> cell phone footage of the yes. outside sign. Yeah. That's all we would need. Oh, it, yeah. And also a booth. Like we would just need yeah, like, yeah. Maybe like a booth. Yeah. And we could dub over Freeland later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So we we know what he did. I think now is just the part where we parody what every pastor apology video is, which is deflecting, minimizing, not fully admitting fault, <laughs> and then yeah. saying, I need grace and I'm taking a vacation. For my mental health. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like, actually, I'm the real victim here because growing up as a puppet was hard, you know, and I've internalized that over the past. <laughs> uh, so what, what if it uh, what if it opens up on the like the serious apology video and he gets about like six seconds and he's like, ah, what was that? What was that word? Tell me what was that again? Uh, what did I what did I say? Here's and then a, and then like and then like an intern like all right I'll just play the video and like they turn the laptop yeah. like a laptop around to him and they're like uh-huh. this is what so this is this is the ten second clip again just want to remind you so maybe you can if you can allude to stuff <laughs> from what you said that'll help make your apology stronger and so then that we have the ability to like bring everybody up to speed to like what he is and he's like and then you know Anzi, he's like turn that off I don't want to watch that I don't want to watch that. <laughs> And then, how dare you show that to me? I was there. I, I was know there. what happened. I did it. I said it. It's a Photoshop. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> Maybe he opens his apology with a, it's a tough world, especially for a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> he plays the puppet wait, wait, wait. card. And, the and puppet then somebody's got to remind him, like, don't make it about you. Don't make it, it about, about you. you. And then, I, <laughs> I just looked up a bunch of like pastor apologies, and there's one line in all of them, and it's, uh, I have no excuse. I sinned, and then they make a bunch of excuses. Oh, oh! I literally, I have a line right here, which is, I want to assure you that I take full responsibility for all of my actions, but I also have some valid excuses. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good line. But I also have some valid excuses. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's good. And that it has to be like, I, I did some things that caused a lot of hurt and a lot of pain, and just overall, this is a really hard situation for me (laughs) 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 ever since this video leaked this oh and another thing it's always it's always the devil attacking the church for (laughs) all the good they're doing you know it's not because of your own actions the devil or the woke mob yeah Yeah. Um, or both yeah (laughs) (laughs) um yeah 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 i like that so then it would just cut back to like him trying to to film trying to get the tone right and the vernacular of his apology right. I would yeah. say flubbing and then yeah. like somebody being like correcting him. Yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, let's just nail when when you talk about acting it's all about like switching tactics. So it's like a character tries one thing, it doesn't work. They switch to try something else. If we just if we could outline just like three, four, whatever different beats of like, how is he going to try to get out of this apology? He's going to deflect. He's going to make it about him. He's going to blame it on the devil. Yeah. yeah. And then we would, we would just film segment him saying a funny line, trying to do one thing. Then the team is like, Hey, no, 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 no. You should try this. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And then okay. like, that's, that's like the meat of the sketch right there. And yeah. then we end on the mustache joke. Yeah, and then <laughs> maybe it's like, and then, uh, <laughs> so then maybe they're like, all right, now, you know, it was like, that's it, right? And then he's like, no, um, you need to talk about your sabbatical and your break and then introduce, <laughs> oh, maybe your sabbatical, maybe, 
maybe Pastor Puppet has not told him that he's not actually taking a sabbatical. Uh, <laughs> or they have not, uh, Pastor Puppet hasn't told them that the, who the, who the <laughs> guest him. speaker is going to be. Yeah. So maybe he's like, he's like, and then also <laughs> tell him that you're taking a break because you are taking a break. That's mandatory. He's like, all right, all right. Um, and then he go, and then he goes into it, and then he and then he like walks back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and then he's like, hello, Very shalom. Muppet. I'll be filling it. And so it goes back to you know everybody on the behind the camera just kind of like, <sighs> yeah. Man, that uh, who came up with the shalom in the original sketch? Shalom. I don't. Was that brothers you? and sisters. I don't. Remember. I don't even know. Did Chris? Who wants their Bibles? Whatever. Sign? Chris's delivery of that line always yeah. gets me it well, really doesn't i feel like it doesn't matter what the it doesn't matter what we what we write sometimes the if somebody can do something so great with it it's almost like hey man that's yours now <laughs> you got yeah he he really came in and, and crushed that i think we were also like throwing out lines too yeah as we filmed maybe he needs to try doing that that pastor puppet delivery of the shalom we're like i'm pastor puppet and then an intern should be like less excited yeah. less excited, <laughs> yeah. Less excited. Yeah. yeah okay so um I think for the before we get into the okay. beats yeah. for the ending joke where he shows up with the mustache, he should be like instead of being pastor puppet, he's priest puppet. <laughs> <laughs> he's father puppet. Father no, he, puppet. He's apostle puppet. Apostle puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's apostle just got a mustache. Puppet. And we could try to get Freeland to do just a different voice, just a little bit, yeah. where you could still tell it's the pastor puppet. Or is he just yeah. puppet pastor? Ooh. Puppet pastor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So now we can vi- now we can figure out those beats that yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we have the end figured out. I I love for the beginning just see what you were talking about of like he's too excited. He's being a little temperamental. <laughs> instantly turns on the camera, but then he he doesn't know what to say. I even I would imagine shooting this maybe all in one take like. Like if you ever watch Barry, how they're just like really long, yeah, yeah, long shot. So it would be the shot of him, and then you're like, wait, what did what did I say? And then you would like pan around, and that's when the assistant is showing the video like on a phone or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I do like your idea of like not starting with the the TMZ, like alluding yeah, like, to it. Yeah. Like, this he is the yeah. And then he's trying to like he's trying to like. You know, still trying to be witty with it, and then, <laughs> then we have the opportunity to bring up that footage in a way that, like, <laughs> that's yeah. so stupid. Shall we At one point, he should brag about how much money, like, uh, like it's like the church has lost a lot of money because of this video, but we're still making millions. <laughs> and then they're like, "Don't brag about the don't, money." Don't talk, yeah, we don't yeah. talk about they're the like, money. They're like, "Don't brag." He's like, "It's not bragging if you back it up." <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly is he doing in the video? <laughs> So he's apologizing. He's just apologizing. So he's apologizing I mean, like for the, the, the TMZ, like TGI oh, Friday. Oh, he's oh, screaming yeah. at the waiter. And, so, yeah. And so maybe sh- sh- something mustard. transpires. Yeah. Yeah. And he just maybe he's like he's mildly inconvenienced, but his uh, his response back is is just way too. He's yeah. like flipping a tray. Maybe he trips. Yeah. Maybe he does all the things. Maybe he like yeah. freaking flips Jesus the tray. Flip the table. Freaking trip oh. the. <laughs> yeah, trips the. That, that's got to be in the apology. Yeah. Did Jesus not flip a table? I am sorry for comparing myself to Jesus flipping tables in the church when I flipped that TGI Friday's <laughs> table. <laughs> or should it be just when I flip my plate at <laughs> TGI Friday's? Uh. <laughs> That's really funny. So it's just video of him flipping over his hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> his fries go everywhere. <laughs> Um, so for the for the apologizing beats, I think uh, so. He first he tries to deflect, deflect. Yeah. Then he tries to like it's me, my uh, it's mm-hmm. I'm the victim. Then when that's not working, then he tries to blame the devil. Yeah, and I think I think when you were talking about him bragging about his wealth, you would fit that in to when he's blaming it on the devil because he was like, "Oh yeah, we have built this multi-million dollar campus and are raking in millions of ties." Yeah. <laughs> and the devil sees that and is trying to stop it. He sees me with my new jet and he's like, "You've been too blessed, but God will get you." Pastor, <laughs> pastor, try, try not to brag. Try, try not, not to brag. Just, it's not bragging if you back it <laughs> up. That's a good line. That's yeah. a good that line. That started to sound like my Jordan Peterson for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jordan Peterson sounds like a puppet. So. 
<laughs> well, if you don't bloody like it. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter I like has banned me. So, like, the uh, the intro, so that, that's, like, the intro that sets everything up, and then those three beats, and then it ends with the, you know, they're all telling him, like, you got to take a break. taking a break. Maybe that's, like, news to him, you know. A break. <laughs> <laughs> a break. Uh, uh, he's so, break. He's so like, yeah. So offended by the break that another hamburger flies. Uh, <laughs> oh, that would be really funny. Where'd oh wait, they that? tell him he has to take a break, like on the set, because like maybe he's fully expecting to preach the next week, and the, that's when they're like, what? "No, you, you oh, can't. Taking, you can't, taking, man." And I'm gonna be preaching on how the devil comes to get you in your in your brightest moments. Yes. Uh, this Sunday, and they're like, "No, no, 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 no. You're yeah, not so preaching this." Sunday. And he's like, oh. And we would, okay. if we're still doing the one take thing, he would be like, and I'm preaching this Sunday about that. You would pan the camera around the people in the back. We're like, no, you can't mm. preach. <laughs> and you just hear him off camera get angry. And then you just see <laughs> random <laughs> objects. like <laughs> <laughs> that, that is yeah. really funny. <laughs> and then like cartoon noise like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that is really, where did he really get, funny. Where did he get all that? <laughs> That's the cartoon of it. That's yeah. the funny part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh so man! He's like, he's like, all right, fine, fine. I'll take a break. Let me let me tell him that I'll take a break. Let me make it. Yeah, or maybe maybe if we do it that way, maybe it is funnier if we just you have the shot of random <laughs> objects being thrown at the people, then you just cut to a pulpit, and then Master Puppet and the mustache walks up. Oh oh okay so That's so the then Ed he, tag okay so I think that beat is like a little quicker like you would get to that joke so he's like faster. oh. <laughs> And then it cuts to like a Sunday morning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and you just hear like. <coughs> <coughs> and then he's like, you know. He steps like, on. Yeah. Like steps on. To the podium. And he goes, hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm preacher puppet or, or whatever. Yeah, pastor puppet. Pastor, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's, he's, he does the whole puppet like. Well, he can't I, say shalom. According to my board. No. What if it's uh, what if it's him? So uh, what if it's this? It's like it's the. Uh, you're going to be taking a break and you're going to announce that this Sunday. And there then he's go. like, ah, yeah. cup, 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 cup. stuff is being thrown. Okay, so he and makes then it the cuts to the stage yeah. and it's just him, you know? And, uh, uh, and like we could do the sweat. shot where uh, he goes, uh, thank you. And then he drops down and then pops back up really fast behind the pope. The <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if he went left. Like, oh, okay. if, <laughs> like yeah. if he goes screen left and then somebody else comes screen right, like it's just him. That would be so funny, yeah. man. Or what if he goes off to the left and then we hear like really loud running and then he comes over on the other side <laughs> like, he, like the he mustache leaves, you hear like, the you hear the breath. Breath. I will be taking a break and then you hear <laughs> his mic's still on yeah yeah, yeah. So, where's oh. my mustache give me my mustache yeah you hear the audio of the chain like, I did I did a video for a performer once and they of course they were keeping it cool on stage but when I was editing the footage later because, you know, it was it was like a theater act, so everything was going real quick. So he'd be real calm on stage. Thank you. I'll be right back. And then in the two minutes, just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, give me the signal. Oh, my God. Did, did you see that bit out there? Oh, that almost flopped. And then instantly back on this, hey, guys, hey. <laughs> for my next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, if we making that really quick, like, it's just like the you just see the pulpit. And then that you see really him funny, go, yeah. and then you hear like you know like five seconds of pandemonium backstage. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, uh, shalom, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Yeah, that'd be I funny. think I think we got the end. Yeah. Let's let's just like yeah. flesh out the middle yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. But we need to give him a, a new greeting. I think because oh, shalom yeah. belongs to Pastor Puppet. So what is what is another shalom style greeting? Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> maybe what just um, blessings. Howdy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he has a southern accent. <laughs> howdy. Howdy. He comes on with a cowboy hat. Howdy there. <laughs> and a big mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cowboy Pastor Big. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, I've um, actually been to a cowboy church, but that's another story for another time. Yeah. And you can listen to that story on Church Stories Podcast. Yeah. Or maybe, ah, maybe just uh, do an Obi-Wan. Hello there. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. All right, so what do we need to flesh out in the middle, Robert? Okay, so what were the three beats you said? I think it was like first. Defle- he, kind of, he deflects. He deflects. He, he kind he of would, is in denial. Yeah. Then I think he would he would play the victim. Play the minimize. victim. Or at first, he blames it on another puppet. 
And then he's presented with the video. That wasn't me. That was another puppet. (laughs) Beanie's really building out the puppet cinematic universe. (laughs) He's like, that was Kermit. That wasn't me. (laughs) That's a big Miss Piggy move. I'll give him that. Uh, So he's deflecting. So when he deflects, how does he do that? He he's not taking responsibility. He's he's blaming anybody but himself. Oh, so he's like, uh, what would he say? So maybe maybe he's like, uh, huh. maybe um, he blames it on James Corden, and he says that people get them confused all the time. Uh. <laughs> maybe he just talks about like like uh, like the maybe he was on like a ministry trip, and he just talks about like you know his. Like, his flight being delayed and oh, going okay. to a restaurant got, this, that he, this is the excuse. Oh, this Roots is, yeah. Chris was closed, so he had to settle for TGI Fridays. <laughs> oh, wait, he like was it. under demonic attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's a lot of that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was being, and I also had the sniffles, so I was, my yeah. immune system had taken some shots. Wait, so this <laughs> is where you have the line, I take full responsibility, but I have some excuses. Yeah, yeah exactly. He lays out a few excuses, and then that's when his team is like, no. People aren't going to buy this. <laughs> we need to do something else. One that I really want to get in there is like Kenneth Copeland with the airplane demons. There need to be uh, TGI Friday demons. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I sensed an unholy presence <laughs> in that. T- I Those did not find God in that TGI Friday. <laughs> There's TGI Friday demons, and they, they took the form of Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, y'all gotta add the the pastor puppet inflection. They took on the form of Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Guy Fieri? That's the good one. You mean Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay's oh, the, yeah. the, the cursing. Oh, one. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. But I heard he's a really good guy too. He is. I had a long day serving the Lord, <laughs> traveling to. Oh, I had and a I long. I just expected yeah. to be served. Marriott was just after a, Marriott, with a little bit of, <laughs> with a little a bit of more respect. Serving the Lord, I expected to be served. <laughs> and, and you think Guy Fieri is the good one, but. There are some secrets in Flavortown. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. The secrets of Flavortown. <laughs> He's trying to make the cold open <laughs> yeah. right in the, towards the end of the end. <laughs> okay. 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 So we so have that section. After this, he makes it about him. Yeah. I, uh, I recommended you a book, Shama. I was reading a book about pastors. When, it was When narcissism comes to church? Yeah, Is that the one? Yeah. It was... The author of it appeared in the Mars Hill podcast. Yeah, That's yeah. how I found out about it. There was a really interesting chapter of it. He coined a term, which I've seen like pastors online do a lot, called a vulnerability, like F-A-U-X vulnerability, oh. which is in order to gain sympathy, you pretend to like get vulnerable and be like, like in Pastor Puppet's case, Freeland had a bit where it was like, yeah, it wasn't easy being a puppet or whatever. Yeah. So it'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believed him. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're like, look guys, we all puppet need lives grace. Matter. Yeah. Since, since I was a small child boy in a, born a puppet in a <laughs> human world, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually the real victim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Puppet that is, yeah. That, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Get him! Don't mind Chase. I'm just Chase kidding. got kicked in Black the head. People don't don't mind I'm, I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. First of all, the devil was trying to get me. Oh! <laughs> He's yeah. You know, the devil was in that springboard um, drop kick that, that got Chase in the head. <laughs> yeah, there is a uh, uh, um, yeah. B- pastors, and that's so. There is a really good uh, YouTube channel. I think it's called like the Messed Up Church. It's his husband and wife. And they and they just go through people's sermons. Cool. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna shout them out right now. Yeah, I it, think my dad is watching this. It is. Did, did it Kat is, Kerr make it? No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, I think she did. She did. <laughs> oh, okay. she did. Kat Kerr. And so and so they just go through and the, and the series is called Hit the Bar and they'll just hit like the space bar and then just talk about <laughs> what they say. You know what the how they said, what they said and why it was wrong so a lot of it's like hey you can't position yourself well the bible already talks about like you know pastors being held to a higher standard Mm -hmm. and so you can't hold yourself to a higher standard but then also put yourself down after having a couple of delays in the same context yeah do you know what i mean because then it's kind of like okay so are you not to be respected no no no. still respect me but also when i have a rough day you know not saying you can't have a rough day, mm-hmm. right? But it's almost like, hey, because you are leading—I don't know—two, three, five, 
hundred or thousand people, then all right, well, there now there are some expectations on you. Yeah, you know, because people will be like, "Hey, we're all sinners. We all need grace." But it's also like that's true. But when when there's too much failing, like you don't need to be leading. Yeah, the, the thousand people. <laughs> right, right, and it's like, hey, if there is sin, like. You should take a take a st- you could take a take a have a seat for a bit and then yeah. kind of figure that out. Jesus, well, not take fi- the not wheel. Figure that out, you know. But like, you know, reach a place where you feel fit. Um, I don't know I, the language I think, you have to use here is so freaking because people will be like, yeah. well, actually, oh, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pastor Puppet should have a line where I'll it's tell like, you. oh, God has grace and unconditional love. So if you think about it, Jesus died on the cross, so I could. Yell at this waiter. (laughs) That's fair. He thought of every sin while he was on that cross, (laughs) including mine, including me when I drop kicked the waitress. (laughs) That would be a funny shot. You just see the puppets flying through the air. (laughs) 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 Or what if he clotheslined the waiter and that you just see him like hit him in the leg? It's the full brawl. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Okay. So we've got those two beats: the deflecting, the he's the victim. And, and then, then it's the devil's fault. It's the devil's fault. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is just yeah, pretty much the Denzel Washington line when Will Smith cra- slapped Chris Rock, where he was like, "The devil comes for you in your biggest moments." Yeah. Oh, that's that's <laughs> the one. I, that's the one that annoys me the worst. <laughs> and then he could say like, "The devil recently attacked my good friend Joel Osteen by hiding a bunch of money in his bathroom." <laughs> yeah. You know, the worst part about the. Uh, the uh, Chris Rock, Will Smith, this is all I'm going to say about it, is that, that March 27th, formerly known as my birthday, is forever tainted. Oh, no. Forever <laughs> ruined. I gave you oh, no. a Will and Smith biography. Chase gave me a Will Smith biography uh, that's still in my office, but now I'm like... Not going to read it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, blame dude, you. Every year, one year ago today, two years ago today, <laughs> three years ago today. But but now I'm afraid to get a Chris Rock book because I don't know what the Will Smith book is going to do to Hey, dude, I got to send you a YouTube VR video where you can experience getting mm-hmm. slapped by uh, Will Smith. Shut up. Yeah, it's like in weird animation, <laughs> but <laughs> I got chills. I think Oculus your flashlight. goal in life should be to get so famous that your birthday takes, takes over back. that. Well, yeah. I was going to say, I think your only option is to do something crazier. I had to do something <laughs> crazy. Uh, I got like, I need to start beef at the next Dove Awards with somebody. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got to backhand Chris Tomlin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way. That's the only way. Like, Toby back, that was real good. I'm going to let you finish. You're good, <laughs> good. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> Father, really that's who you are. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. Crowd. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Maverick Boy, City had the best worship album <laughs> I love oh, of all time. <laughs> Give it up for Kirk. <laughs> Maybe you make it to the Grammys and you got to like trip Adele or something yeah, on yeah. our way out. Hey, uh, I need to say this real quick. I keep on forgetting to say this on the show. At the Kayla Fan Awards backstage, I saw Kirk Franklin a lot shorter than me. And I went and I shook his hand. I was like, hey, man, been a big fan for a long time. Um, one of my parents, you know, they wouldn't let us listen to a lot of things, but they let us listen to your music. I was the only Christian hip hop that was allowed in our house. Been a fan of you since the mid 90s. Wow. Really appreciate you, man. And all he does, he just goes, uh, uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming up and talking to me. That's all he said. Yeah. Nice. He's short. Thank you me? so much for coming up and talking to me. <laughs> thank you so much for coming up I don't me. know. How tall Which is was he? like pretty oh, no, much he's like, a, he's short. He's I've, short. I've That's the auto he reply on this kind of like Yeah. He hit me <laughs> yeah. with the auto reply. Thank you so much for coming up and talking to me. His <laughs> voice always sounds like it's on the last leg too. Like it just sounds, he sounds like <laughs> any so minute. Well, he put it to good use. I can't. did. Yeah. I can't wait. That's a big moment. Man, I can't wait till a fan comes up to me and I'm like, man, your reels really carried me. And I'm like, thank you so much for coming up and talking, talking to, to me. me. Mm. <laughs> no, I've seen Shama when fans come up. You were the nicest person. You don't even treat him like a fan. You're just like, oh, we're friends now. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could do this. And in the back of my head when that's happened, I'm like, well, no, let them know that we're more important. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them think they're one of us. Oh, yeah, don't don't talk to them like they're a human being. What are you doing? 
You got to take them out like hey. they're a TGI Friday's waiter. <laughs> All that. Listen, meeting Kirk Franklin, that's the be- that's my villain origin story. Yeah. <laughs> your Joker I'm no moment. longer. Yeah, that's it. That's the turn so, like, in your my voice, narrative. Your voice isn't Thank even you so like much that. for coming up and talking to me. <laughs> well, it wasn't rude, though, right? No, it wasn't rude. Yeah. He was very nice. I yeah. think he just was, everybody was kind of coming up and talking to him, and he was like mid-conversation. So I heard a yeah. story one time. It was a really big celebrity. I can't remember who it was. But they were on a podcast and they were like, I really appreciate when people come up and say, you know, you're my hero. But all I can think is like, I'm everybody's hero. (laughs) (laughs) It gets a little tiring. (laughs) It was a comedian. Is that Joel McHale? That sounds very Joel McHale. I cannot remember. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, That's funny. All right. So Robert's been doing the work while we've been riffing here. Yeah. I basically have an outline. So like what we would do at this stage would be we could spend more time like punching up some stuff if we want but like for all the not written by listeners this is typically where we would end a written by episode we just we have the outline and like the direction we're going and then the actual work of sitting down to write the screenplay would be coming up with a lot of the individual jokes and one-liners that we haven't come up with so far we've come up with a few yeah 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 so i guess like we we could go into reading the outline phase but i guess before we do that given all that we've talked about are there any more just like good lines one-liner jokes that we want to throw out (laughs) Hmm. because again like we need things for him to say during the video also just like you know throughout the throughout the apology stuff yeah well i've been sitting here looking at that bass drum in front of us and I've been imagining a hundred thousand dollars in it. Maybe as a throwaway line, it could be like, I, I just really hope they don't find out about the money in the bass drum. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good off camera thing to say. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, another line is, uh, the off camera thing is like, who would have thought this is what I'd get in trouble for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good like opener. Thing yeah. Almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause you, I feel you know in my, it, like the way I, I, I see the pacing, he needs to get like a good six or seven seconds into this, <laughs> you know, a, vo- a vulnerability phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then he freaking wrecks it with like, and, and to be honest, who would have believed that this is what I would have gotten? And they're like, and then it's like, like, all right, cut. everybody, let's let's hold on. And he's like, uh, and then like, we're gonna play the video for you again one more time, just so you could see what you see, you know. Maybe you could allude to that, you know. And then do they kind of set him back on the path. Do you know how many times I've thrown down in a TGI Fridays? <laughs> <laughs> this is on my team for not checking for cameras. Um, I like the idea of him, uh, him firing somebody. <laughs> in the room oh, except yeah, except good. maybe it's like a i don't know man maybe it's like an ac repair guy <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that is a mean? problem in a lot of talking head shoots is that people people don't realize that you have to turn the air off for oh, it so it gets hot and it like it, an air condition will automatically cut on during a take and yeah like anytime you do like a corporate thing or something they aren't thinking yeah, about that no. so maybe like somebody comes in he's like so what? like the air fired. goes on during his take and he's just like <laughs> why is the air you're fired <laughs> you ruined my take <laughs> and then well, like towards like, the end of it he's starting to sweat he's like why is it there? <laughs> it's like you fired the guy velvet sweat <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. sounds like a uh, prince album Velvet, sorry, felt. I meant to say felt. I don't know why I said velvet. <laughs> velvet sweat. We, Guys, that's my R and B pseudonym. <laughs> so we have the part where he's like, "The devil is attacking me because of all the great work we've done," and this is where he brags about his everything he's got. What's what's like the big extreme thing? Because like each time Pastor Puppet appears, it gets bigger. To where it's like I own oh. this giant church now. So, I own a dolphin, a and a spaceship, whale. a whale. Can I? <laughs> he owns an NFL team. Can I? Uh, so I read this. Uh, somebody hired me to do this uh, voiceover for a recycling uh, company, and um, and a lot of it was like we were able to reach out to over two hundred thousand households in this big city, and over two hundred responded, and uh, twenty five <laughs> were able to. Dr- drastically change how they recycled and so what? it's something that like starts off with like really big numbers like we were able to package 
um, our church of 10,000 people over the weekend were able to package over 25 backpacks for kids going back to school. Just essentially <laughs> like whatever he brags about means absolutely nothing. Yeah. You know, okay. it's like you drive, a, you drive a half million dollar car, but you're like, we were able to feed 27 <laughs> homeless people over the weekend. But it's like, part of his defense. He'll be yeah, like, yeah. oh, you, you think that this TGI Fridays thing is bad? Well, you know what I did for the kids this <laughs> month? I exactly. got 20, like my 10,000 church yeah. members we were able 25. To, we were able to pass out over 100 <laughs> bowls of soup over Thanksgiving weekend. We were like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, cool. Yeah. I, That's I, good. I, I love PD's idea of our crew of 10,000 <laughs> gave out. One hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's just a lot of like you're like I feel like uh, you know I feel like you could do more, but also you did something, so I'm not trying to yeah. I'm not <laughs> trying to insult you. <laughs> yeah, but it's not enough. Yeah, 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 it's not enough. Yeah, yeah. So just a lot of like you know mathematically the uh, that is a very altruism does not <laughs> ten thousand doesn't add up. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um. Uh, we need lines for when he's attacking him in TGI Fridays, right? So it's like, uh, I need, man, we had something. Oh, there was the, I'm sorry for comparing myself to Jesus flipping the tables when I flipped that when plate, I flipped a plate on that waitress <laughs> plate. That's good. What's um, another like biblical, that was the great thing about the, uh, the first pastor puppet sketch was all the insults were yeah. biblical. <laughs> uh, what if he says, it was like, if, uh, <laughs> what did you say? If you were the bad, oh, if you were on the story, if, if you were the, the good Samaritan would leave you if you were on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's if you were on the side of the road, the good Samaritan would have left you. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, if David saw you bathing on the roof. <laughs> He would have left you. <laughs> All right, Cat Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> what if he's 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 spraying ketchup on the waitress and he's like, <laughs> get washed by the blood. Get, get washed, washed by the blood <laughs> of Bob the Tomato. <laughs> hey, God. God, God. <laughs> that got vulgar. <laughs> now it's a metal song. Uh, um, the blood of Bob. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I mean. I, I, so we talk about like the TGI Fridays. Maybe it's like you know uh, Jesus died on a good fr- uh, on a good Friday. Yeah. Our Lord died, and this is the not, worst I Friday. I can't believe I can't. This is my worst Friday. <laughs> this is my worst. <laughs> or this is like a comparing. worse Friday than when Jesus died. Okay. <laughs> 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 TGIF, more like TG. Yeah, yeah. Well, you uh, said, uh, "Thank God it's Friday." Thank God you're fired. Maybe he ends that with that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, okay, that's yeah, yeah. it. That's it. Just one good final line before the video cuts off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think cool. maybe I think, maybe I think he also references something in his apology, and he's like, you know. Um, uh, Maybe it's just something along the lines of like reckless love. Maybe it's like, you know, <laughs> reckless love <laughs> or righteous indignation. Um, you know, maybe he's like, my anger was, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of people were like, you know, uh, so one time I got yelled at and that, you know, I grew from that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a one real time, bra uh, moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> My dad wasn't wasn't nice to me. <laughs> uh, you know what that did? I took that and I channeled I it to channeled become the person into... who I am today. Where you're like, actually, maybe you shouldn't have been verbally abused to begin with. That's just a thought. That's yeah. just a thought. So, my whole life, I've been under spiritual attack, and I just mm-hmm. really lost it in yeah. that TGI Fridays. Yeah, when uh, <laughs> well, it's like, what is like? It's that whole like, it, like fear is face everything and and run or uh, yeah. you know uh, fi- or fight. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're saying. Face everything and rise. You know, or something Wait, stupid no. like that where you're like, this is what I did with that anger that day, and I hope I taught that young man a lesson. Wait, when people treated me despicable, I, I grew. grew. Uh, he can say, to me, TGIF means total grace and forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, so. This um, man, this, the PD. <laughs> where's the belt? Where's the belt? What did you say? Uh, what did total you grace say? and forgiveness. <laughs> For me, TGIF belt. means total grace and forgiveness, and that's why I'm asking you to forgive me. All right, we got to. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, maybe I was on the fence, but uh, we got to make this one. <laughs> Whatever we do, okay. this has got to be made now. <laughs> <laughs> because of total grace and forgiveness? I've okay, so really, uh, are you set, Robert? Really, yeah. All right, yeah. so the way that Written by works, at the end, uh, when we're done outlining the short film, we actually do kind of like a little audio drama where Robert reads out the outline. He does some cool sound design. We're going to do that, and then we can end with uh, church stories like praise reports. Yeah, yeah. so today on Church yeah. By. Yeah, Church <laughs> By. <laughs> Sounds like a gender. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead. <laughs> hey, you want to apologize? The devil comes for you. <laughs> Can I put that in my Twitter bio? <laughs> <laughs> my pronouns are, are church, church by. <sighs> church by. Church uh, t- Robert, guys, this has been this has been a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's uh, hey, let's make this one. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's make this it. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But before then, uh. Tell everybody what we wrote, Robert. What we wrote? Oh yeah, yeah. The oh the, oh. He was setting up. He was setting up. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. Uh, what we? <laughs> they're announcing their new Rise of the Minions oh, album. Yeah, yeah. Yes, just, uh, the whole thing. <laughs> All um, right. All right, guys. <laughs> so we open. Pastor Puppet is seated on a stool, in front of a psych wall. There is a camera pointed at him. He's. We hear shuffling of people behind the camera. He's looking out the window. It's like, oh my god, are we, are we gonna start already? We should start an hour ago. We ready to start? We ready to roll? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. And then there's some. Wait, wait, who's who's that walking to the background? He's like, oh, the AC guy. Who's that? You're fired. You're fired. Try to shoot a video here. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Three, two, one. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm. I can't really do the faster puppet. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> I'm pulling into my Jar Jar Binks. Guys, <laughs> I am here today because I need to apologize. I did some actions that were regrettable at the TGI Fridays. <laughs> I would like to formally apologize for when I compared myself to Jesus flipping the tables when I flipped my plate <laughs> at a waitress for not... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what did I say? What did I say? And then the camera pans around and we see a bunch of assistants and board people behind the camera. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. Let me let me show you the video real quick just so you know what you said. He holds a phone up to the camera and we see iPhone footage taken from a few seats back of Pastor Puppet at a TGI Friday's a waiter... <laughs> brings him a drink and he's like where is I'm alive and his little puppet hands are flailing around and he, he flips his his burger and he's like this is thank god it's Friday more like thank god you're fired <laughs> get washed in the blood and he's spraying ketchup at the waiter yeah. <laughs> and what's screaming that's when the iPhone footage comes off he's like oh okay okay the camera's back on him and he's like it was not a good Friday at the TGI Fridays, but uh, this this is the start of my resurrection. You know, I like to think TGI Friday, TGIF stands for Total Grace and Forgiveness. <laughs> I am asking for your forgiveness here today. And then we get to the point where he's trying to deflect a little bit about you know, try to minimize what he did. He's like, I, uh, I have done some regrettable things and I take full responsibility, but I also have some valid excuses. It was, it was a long day of traveling in my private jet. I, they did not (laughs) land when I was supposed to. And Ruth Chris was closed and I had to settle for the TGI Friday. And that's when the people behind is like, Hey, 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 don't, don't make it about you, man. This is not going to go over well. And so, hands back to Pastor Puppet. He's like, okay. uh, Look, guys, we all make mistakes. <laughs> Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And, I mean, honestly, who would have thought this is what I would get caught for? <laughs> really, after everything. He's like, no, 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 no. You can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. It's like, I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Look, guys. Uh the devil comes at you when you're at your highest moment and 
<laughs> Honestly, I think the devil is seeing all the good we're doing at our church. Yeah. You know, just this past day, our crew of 10,000 people served over 100 bowls of soup. <laughs> the devil sees our, our 37th campus opening. He sees our rocket ship getting purchased, and he's like, there's too much good. Rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when the people are like, hey, maybe maybe you should tone it down a little on, on that. Just, just just maybe just say you're sorry and get out of there. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm I'm so sorry for for whatever came over me. That wasn't necessarily me. That was something else, but... uh. <laughs> Again, it's the devil's fault, and I'm actually going to preach about that this weekend, about how the devil comes at you, and and that's when they're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, whoa, (laughs) you were not preaching this weekend. He's like, what do you mean I'm not preaching? He's like, no, you can't, after this video, you got to lay low, you got to, okay. And then that's when it's like, okay, I, I have announced my, uh, a long sabbatical, you know. Or maybe when they tell him that, he gets this, like. Well, he can't have a mischievous look because uh, he has one look. Right, he's a puppet. He's a puppet yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can tell the gears are turning. It's like, oh, I, I see. I can't preach. Okay. <laughs> we could probably tell that through like a push in with the camera. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he would say something like, "It is time for me to do a lot of self-reflecting," which is why I will be going on a three-week vacation. And then that's when we fade into the pulpit on a Sunday morning. The music. He's got to throw the stuff. He's got to throw. Oh the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. Yeah. He's like, oh, we taking a three week vacation. He's like, all right, great. We did the video pan around to the people. <laughs> Pastor Rob's like, what do you mean? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> just random objects getting thrown at all the people. Cheese. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a beach ball or something. <laughs> anyway, we cut to the pulpit on the Sunday morning. The music is playing pastor puppet is up there and he's like again after the events of this weekend i will be taking a sabbatical but i am here to introduce to you our guest speaker apostle puppet and then he runs off stage left and we just (laughs) and then another puppet walks in stage right which is clearly just pastor puppet in a hat and a mustache (laughs) he's like a hell day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just cut to black. <laughs> oh, man. And I think the title should be A Pastor Puppet Apology. Solid. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is good. That Pastor is good. Puppet Apology. Yeah. A pu- yeah. Apology. A, a puppet apology. <laughs> a puppet apology. <laughs> <laughs> we trademark that. Gosh, that was fun. Yeah. 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 All right. I think there's there's a lot of room. To punch that up and like yeah. actually, if if we actually make place. it, I think we could all just actually nail down the jokes and stuff. And yeah. yeah, yeah, and maybe we could actually you know like work on a good pastor puppet impression, uh, yeah. so we can all yeah. be consistent. <laughs> pastor uh, puppet, we'll get Freeland to sit down with us and tell us how to do it. <laughs> just have a seminar, <laughs> oh, a workshop. Like, yeah. We'll put it on the Patreon. <laughs> a um, cool. So I guess we could do. Man, let's do it. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, we uh, could. Praise report. You trying to yeah, set up can, your? We, no, we let's check, check in with in Chase. Yeah. Oh, that's what we can do yeah. right oh. now. Uh, okay, Chase. checking in with Chase. I, I've started collecting VHSs. Oh boy, he really did get hurt, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey guys, we're gonna stop the podcast to do concussion <laughs> protocol. Uh, that makes a lot of sense because you were texting me like, "Whoa, we need to, we need yeah. to put our next short film on VHS." <laughs> I thought it would be a fun gimmick if oh, we no. sold VHS tapes with <laughs> the new short so. film. Be, I think yeah. that'd be cool. Uh, there's a really popular Instagram page. VHS Instagram page and they're super cool. And is that the guy who makes the covers of modern movies? Yeah, dude, they do so good, super cool stuff. And uh, I thought that was fun, so I went to Miracle Hill and I got like a ton for six bucks. Yeah, yes, yeah, they're like twenty five cents each. And uh, I've got like this display. I took that shelf that we had in the studio. Yeah, and I've built it up with VHS tapes and stuff. And nice, I'm very excited, cool. dude. About it. I tried to give you some VHSs. <laughs> I know when we were cleaning up the he studio wasn't a couple ready. weeks ago. I wasn't ready, man. Uh, that was. I was <laughs> like, do you want these? Uh, but it was uh, like in- I had Independence Day on VHS. I, I still I, do. I got it. Come yeah, yeah. Um, you did give me. You gave me yeah. Spy Kids. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It is fun to I watch gave stuff. You a copy and, of Spy Kids. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's on the shelf. So yeah, that's what's going on with me. I don't have anything else. Prepared. Do you have a VHS player? I do. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching old Scooby Doo on VHS. Is it not? A, is only available on VHS? 
No, no, no. It's available anywhere, but okay. it's cool. Yeah, but the change. potato quality cool. yeah, aspect yeah, yeah. is the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. fun thing. The box. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then the waves. <laughs> and 4K. <laughs> That's Matthew McConaughey. 4K. 4K, 4K, 4K. You got it. How about VHS? You got it in VHS. Be a lot cooler if you did. Cooler if you did. When random lines go across your screen, I know a lot of people like what we're looking for. I know a lot. I know a lot of people like watching HD videos in here, but I, but I see a lot of law. I see a lot of nostalgia. 240p law breakers in here. But yeah, that's my checking in with Chase. Oh man, hey. You, you know the drill, Robert. You've been on yeah. church stories before. What's your praise report, man? Praise report. Besides um, finishing the most hectic, only directable day you could direct <laughs> a trouble date shoot. Man. And we wrapped man. on time. Like on the Darn minute. Darn it. On time. <laughs> Shama was worried. Some, yeah. Shama yeah. was worried. Hey, but, I mean, he's not saying it about himself. Shama, Shama killed it as an oh, AD. Yes. On that it's, it's the first shoot I've actually had. Actually, no. Second shoot I've had an AD on. Yeah. But yeah, man. It was a ton of fun, man. Okay. I, it, it is one of those positions that I think I, uh, 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 I don't think I respected until I was like, no, anything yeah. that a majority of projects that go really well is because there was a person who was like, all right, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. yes, no, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Go get changed, come for, back, bring them back. For the listeners, the assistant director, they aren't they aren't the assistant where it's like, oh, we get coffee or whatever. The first mm. assistant director is the person that keeps you on schedule. So. Basically, if you have a nice director, their role is to be the mean one who says, no, we can't get that shot. We got to move on. Yeah. Or even just like yeah. look at the whole schedule and be like, you got to like figure something else out or we aren't going to end on that. So the, yeah. the, there's a, film sets in general, there's a, there's a big... Um, there is a black hole, a Bermuda Triangle of time that, that, that just eats time. Yeah. And so uh, the moment you're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna set the scene. Oh, let's set up a cool light here. That could either take two minutes or could take thirty minutes or forty five uh -huh. or an hour. Um, at PD has experienced this and always wants to leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you can't. We actually need your pale skin to compare what the lighting is going to look like when we change it. Um, and so for that reason, your <laughs> film sets are always in a battle of creative versus like getting the work done. Mm. And so um, the director is usually a very creative soul, you know, and mm. they want to do, they want to, they have a vision and a plan. And the first AD is the person to go, hey man, you got, you can only do one more shot before lunch because everybody needs to eat. So you're just yeah. trying to take the pulse of the set and then trying to make sure it runs productively. So that way, you know, the creative can be creative, and then also you're not there till two a.m. like we've been yeah. before. Many times. <laughs> no, Shama did a, a really yeah. great job. I was yeah. really thankful. That is to have that him. is my praise report. Had a great AD. Uh, our short film Thanks. Trouble Date coming this fall, hopefully. Dude, and, heck uh, yeah, coming this fall. My Donda vinyl came in this week. Oh, I was nice. listening to that, dude. Did you order that like months ago? Yeah. Well, new records post COVID. It'll take like six months, six Jeez. to eight months for a new record to I mean, get pressed. Yeah. You and should get into VHSs. You can get them <laughs> the, for 25 cents at the... I was up for self. PDB, what's your praise report, dog? Uh, my, my praise report is uh, well, getting to see Chase wrestle. That was oh, really man, cool. Yeah. And um, not die. And not die. And not Almost. die. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I got really nervous when he's going to take a reverse tombstone pile driver, um, but then his head didn't hit, and I was like, all right, I don't have to drive him to the hospital. Um, mm. That was a real concern I had. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, you heard it here first. I don't think I'm doing that again. <laughs> I One day I'll be able to turn that off. Can you, can you explain that move for the uninitiated, what that is? So... A guy is holding Chase by his legs. Chase's head is near the ground, and then he like he sits out on his knees, to effectively dropping Chase on his head. Dang. Yeah. Wow. And your head didn't touch the ground. No, it didn't. I'm a pro, brother. I, I'll show you guys the video after. Yeah. I got Man, really, really fun. Really How cool old are you, to be Chase? There. I'm 22 years old. I turned 23. Yeah, about, yeah, about eight more years. <laughs> I, I think I think I'm done. The ride home, PD, uh, PD and I were riding home, and I was like miserable i was like this is i can't do this anymore so it's sad though very i, I really i hate I, I hate you, you you're having to like <laughs> 
experience that. Yeah, I I don't think it would have been. Pro- I got hit really hard in the head. Yeah, like uh, really hard. My face was like swollen. My whole like right side of my face was swollen. That's not good. No, no. So I'm gonna stick to acting. And the dude who did it to him, uh, I heard him talking about. Um, drinking mushroom coffee to help with CTE. So when I overheard <laughs> that, I was like, you know, maybe wrestling's not the thing to get into. Yeah, uh, but PD uh, did get to get in the ring and he yeah. ran the ropes and stuff. Yeah, and he helped put. You've always wanted to do that. I didn't take a bump though, because I was oh. like, you know, I tried to get I, him to, but I was thinking like, I my my neck hurts already. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't need to make this worse. And he uh, he helped set up the ring and he helped take down the ring. So he he yeah. pretty much did everything except for actually wrestle. Mm-hmm. Did they sell tickets to the event? Or no, it was it was it was a taping, so it was like it was literally just the wrestlers and then PD. What if somebody watches the tape and they and they call you up, Chase? And they're like, "We want you, brother." You yeah, brother? Tony Khan. Calls uh, you. Man, I don't. I just want to act. <laughs> I, I did uh, this because I wanted to see my friends, and I just can't like something clicks where I'm just like, "Well, I'm just gonna do everything. I'm yeah. gonna do backflips, and I because I want everybody to think I'm great." And I, I got to learn it's okay to not be great. You Honestly, know, yeah. dude, you, need, you need to put yourself out more as a stunt performer. I know, I know some people, they get on sets, and now they're acting and directing and bigger things because they were the only stunt performer I, people. Yeah, I would love do. to do stunt. I tried, when we did Bible Man, I tried to do stunt stuff for Bible Man, but they were like, no. Yeah. No, well, it was brother. Like a, I wanted to go like, through a we, table for that. We didn't have <laughs> PD. <laughs> Your neck already hurt. <laughs> hey, hurt dude, for hurts. Bible Man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll go through a table well, so for Bible Man. The thing was, we were, we were, and we really had this beautiful like ending written that we both, we all just kept on thinking, we're like, we don't want anybody to like, we don't want Bible Man or Bible Girl to like hurt somebody. I yeah. think that was the thing. Yeah. I think if we had, if we would have, I think we would have been fine. But wouldn't but that be But the funny? thing is that the movie, <laughs> yeah. like the trailer already looks so gritty already that, I mean, if you would have taken a, you know, if somebody would have got whacked like we were thinking about, mm. that junk would have looked really good. It looked terrible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It would have looked Abby very... punched somebody in the face, that would be hilarious. <laughs> See, that's been. how you uh. know when <laughs> this Bible man means business. He uh, <laughs> well, he, that was Bible. the... So we're, we're trying to like... We weren't trying to like... Uh, out, not like alienate. I don't know. I don't know. I think we, we tried to play. And we even thought about shooting different like options, but... Yeah. No, yeah, you, you guys did a good job with it. It's it's good. Thanks, man. Good. Thank you. Hey, I'll tell you Y'all one see, thing. You guys will see it one day. Dude, one day. <laughs> a lot of pressure on that yeah. one, but we're going to figure it out. You know, I, I heard somebody once say that uh, a majority of life is uh, is not figuring out what to say yes to, but what to say no to. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And uh, hey, welcome to the no club, yeah. Chase. I, yeah. <laughs> The only thing I, I told Pete this when we were writing back because like my face was starting to get like really swollen and I was like it's a really good thing I did not do this before we shot Trouble oh, Date so yeah. I was like I'm I think I'm done I don't want to risk acting stuff by also hurt. Chase killed it in, in Trouble Date did I already say this on on this podcast yeah, you can you say really, it all you want man, you really <laughs> killed it, man. <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> really talented we gotta make more stuff y'all yeah we nope. make more stuff I'm good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And you see, this is how easy it is to talk me out of anything. Like PD said that, and I thought, he's right. What am I saying? We're making this. Hey, this is stuff. Okay? Yeah, we made you stuff. Okay. I, I, I Did re- you do your praise report yet? Oh, my praise report. I was in Oklahoma um, with the skit guys, and that was a really, really awesome time. I'm going to try to get them on the show. Yeah. Um, they live, uh, Tommy. The taller guy, he lives in Oklahoma, and Eddie lives in Dallas. So maybe they'd have to be on like we'd have to be on like Zoom or something with them, yeah, separately. But uh, they travel, so maybe we can catch them on a weekend, like where they're together or something. Um, it was really good. Like they're they're such an awesome like duo. Their team, their director Brian Cates, really awesome guy. Uh, it was really cool to see another team like that work. Um, and I and now I get it when people ask like, oh, I want to be on a set with you guys. I'm always like, why? Uh, and I and I thought I, I always told them I was like, hey, I want to watch you guys work. And so I went in on Thursday. I flew in on Thursday and then went to set. And just watching them work was really really cool. They had an awesome crew, and they're also really great, really great guys too. They're really great guys. And so I'm really thankful for that. I don't know why, <laughs> but I I didn't have high expectations, but I had a really great conversation about all of them, especially about just like the space that we're in. I would say that they are like the, uh, 
The rich um, minions. The <laughs> I got money <laughs> to tie it all back and in. And we're the despicable <laughs> young Christian creators trying to grew. Uh, no, so it's cool. I learned a lot. I learned a lot, and it's and it's definitely stuff that I think will benefit you know us. And they they have some uh, some really great connections with uh, making more projects and funding yeah. more projects. Really and cool. so I think there could be a really great opportunity to, um, yeah, to like you know collaborate on some stuff and they are very much open to it uh so yeah yeah that's my praise report there um it was a christmas project uh i did a monologue about the wise men so you'll i mean you could see that around the holidays mm. and also you can see chase and i's legendary christmas song Ooh. directed by oh, yes. robert the yes. we need to start working on that guys, now you know what we i figured do. out we yeah do. yeah you know there's nothing like seeing guys in flannel and boots and jeans <laughs> doing a christmas project and i went that's what we need to do about legendary Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to shoot that sucker now. July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Sweating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you can watch The Phantom Menace on Disney Plus <laughs> or on VHS. Yeah. Hey, I'm Are just. I didn't make that? anything recently, so I'm just plugging <laughs> something I watched recently. <laughs> 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 I just saw Bombad Jedi. I've been trying to do a Jar Jar. Misa. Misa. I got it. I got cut. I got cut PD off. Don't cut me off. I got PD needs to create something stat. Misa the Bombad General. His man's identity is Jar Jar Binks. You're still going to get yourself in deep. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I also realized that a couple of the aliens are Japanese. The Viceroy, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's like the the Tantala and the negotiations. I'm like, they, they, it's obviously like they're trying to make them Japanese. I uh. saw a tweet. Someone said Wado is the most ingenious character design because 10 different ethnicities all think that he's a rag on them. <laughs> and that's called representation. <laughs> Speaking of representation, that's I, I don't have anything. All right, <laughs> written by, written by podcast. Written by, <laughs> by. <laughs> many my children. Written by. <laughs> <laughs>